Hi, I'm Kate Nickerson or Kate Loves Makeup and I'm finally back doing my Three Looks One Palette series that I started a really long time ago. Um, today I'm going to be doing the ColourPop Lilac You A Lot palette and um, I'm not going to go through my base. I'm just going to film the eyeshadow part. So yeah, I'm just priming my eyelids with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh um, concealer in fair 10n i don't use eyeshadow primer so of a couple of like singular tutorials on this but i kind of just wanted to put three of them in one place because i know that that can be like easier for people to come back to if it's just in a video and i'm gonna end up posting this to my igtv so if you don't watch my youtube don't worry about it the intros for youtube <laughs> Okay, so let's start. I This is one of my favorite looks that I do with this. So I'm going to start with Zoned Out. And I'm going to put that in my crease. And I'm going to use this Morphe. This Morphe brush that doesn't have a, doesn't have a name. Which is fine. So Zoned Out is this nice pastel purple. Oh, you can't really see it. Pastel purple. And I'm just going to pop it in my crease. Here we go. I do have to build this up quite a bit to get the right color, I guess. I don't know, it's very light even on my skin, so this would not be a good palette for anyone who's not super white at this point. Sorry about the mascara, I look crusty because I did like three looks today. Yeah, I think I'm going to do the Mint to Be palette next. I put up a poll on my story about it. But I wasn't really sure. I don't know if that's something people are interested in. Like, you can request the Nine Pan palettes. I have the Lilac one, the Mint one. I have the Aha uh -huh Honey palette, which I actually have on my IGTV. I have three looks for that one palette. I have Blue Moon, Orange, and the Peach one. And I definitely think the Peach will be a big hit. But I kind of want to do the other ones first. That way I'm not just only doing the Peach one, you know? Okay, so next I am just going to take a flat brush. This doesn't have a name, but it's a nice flat brush. And the shimmer is honestly up to you, but I am going to go in with Fluff, which is this nice purpley shimmer shade. It's lighter than, or it's the darkest shimmer shade in this palette, so... Um, I don't typically cut my crease like with concealer, but that's just because I'm lazy and I don't like to do it. And this gives me that like same effect, which sounds really lazy of me because I am lazy. Also, I'm so sorry for the fan in the background. It's 105 degrees right now and I have my ring light on and everything. So the fan noise, you'll just have to deal with it. <laughs> so that shimmers there. I'm gonna go back in with that same, oh my God, the shimmer is crumbling. She's, she's dying. I'm gonna back in with that same fluffy brush with the same shade just to blend everything together. So that's pretty much where I want it to be. Um, so I'm gonna find a brush and do the outer corner. I like just washed my brushes today, so a ton of them are like not here. Oh, okay, this is what I'm gonna use. It is my Shop Miss A E130 brush, and it's like a nice outer corner brush. And I am gonna go in with Filtered, which is this deeper purple color. Okay, I'm gonna pop on lashes do my base and I will be back. All right, so here's the final look. Uh, I will list the base products that I am using. Um, I'm gonna use the same base products for every single look. So I will be back with a second look in a little bit. All right, oh, <laughs> look number two. So I went ahead and did my base actually just before, um, before filming because I think that'll make things quicker. 
So again, this is the second look for the Lilac You A Lot palette. This time, oh, wow, okay, someone's dying. This time, <laughs> I'm gonna go for a really soft, like, pastel look, um, because I know that people really like those with these kinds of, like, pastel-y palettes. All right, so I'm gonna use my ColourPop E2 brush, and in this one, I am going to go again into zoned out, or no, sorry, not zoned out. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go into imagine that, and then I'm gonna blend it out with zoned out, and I'm gonna put um, ghost in, in the outer corner. Okay, so imagine that, and let's go. I asked all my Instagram polls, I reached out to 80 like brands, I think, um, through either their forms on their website or emailing. And I wanted to know, because this is going on YouTube too, so if you see my Instagram and you already answered yes, like you can ignore this. I'm so sorry. I post to multiple platforms because I'm lazy and only create content for one. Um, but if you'd like to hear me talk about like my experience as a small creator reaching out, I'm just placing zoned out above um imagine that by the way oh i didn't even pick a shimmer Ooh, i'm gonna go into train wreck for my shimmer i'll show that in a second train wreck right here it's a um it almost looks like a bluish purple but it's very pretty this is definitely one of the softer looks that i make with this palette which i feel like is what people are looking for from me Okay, so for my outer corner, I said I was going to go in with Ghost In, which is this kind of pinky. Oh, look, you can see my bed. <laughs> so I'm going to take it on this fat brush. I These these brushes, I don't have like names for them or anything. Um, if you ever need brush recommendations, I highly, highly recommend the Shop Miss A Paw Paw brushes. They're like, I have three sets of them, but they're all like high quality. Like, I've washed this dozens upon dozens of times and nothing has come off of it I've never really had one break or if I did it's because I was like roughly like moving it around um so yeah the Shamus A ones they're like ten dollars for a maybe a 12 pack I don't even know they're pretty cheap though um and I have an affiliate code with them so if you want to like if you want to um support your girl you could you could use that code they also have the best beauty blenders like i've ever used in my life and they're a dollar like 55 and the best part about it is that the extra thing like um above a dollar goes to charity like to the papa charity that they do and it's an asian american owned brand so you're not just contributing to another like really big corporate brand you know i think that makes me feel better i don't know about other people <laughs> but it definitely makes me feel better. So I'm just going back in with that ColourPop E2 and blending um, so that the shimmer blends in. All right, I'm gonna pop on some lashes. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the final look. Try to get kind of close. Um, I'm gonna do a third look and then that'll be it for this series. I think I'm gonna do the mint one next and then I'll put a pull up. Look number three. Okay, so I went ahead and did my base already again, <laughs> just because it's easier. This time I'm going to go for a little bit of a darker look. So I'm going to go in with this deep purple shade Iffy. I'm going to blend it out with um, Zoned Out, and then I'm going to do the outer corner with Filtered. And the shimmer shade I'm going to pick, I think I'm honestly going to go for this one, and this is Wake Me. So it's going to just be like these, these four colors. Yeah, so I'm going to start with Iffy, and I'm just going to put that in my crease the same way I did with the other one. I'm really bad at doing, like, the the blending it out to look softer and not as harsh. I, I'm learning, okay? I'm, ma I'm making my way to it. Okay, let's go. Here, oh my god, hello. And I think this is the Sephora Pro Blending Large 27. And like, I don't know, it's not really pro blending, but it's blending. I don't know why, like, some of these brands will be like, oh, this brush is like $60 because it's a pro. Oh, also don't mind this like flying around. I've got the fan going to the side of me now instead of in front of me. It's going to be 111 degrees here. Okay, so going into zoned out, 
to soften it if I can get anything on my freaking brush. God damn. Oh, there's my hair. Of course, my hair wants to join us. Okay, yeah, that just like, it just softens it a little. So now I'm gonna go into Wake Me and do the same faux cut crease as all of my other tutorials. I really don't do full cut creases, do I? Sucks to be me. I'm gonna take my ColourPop, I believe this is a face brush, F12, but I'm just gonna use it to pack on um, filtered into my outer corner. Okay. I'm gonna pop my lashes on, do my scent mascara, and I'll be right back. All right, this is the third and final look. Uh, I hope you guys liked these. I will do the mint one next, or you know what, I'll just put up a poll and do mint versus another one so that people can choose what they wanna see next. Thanks for watching.